We remain here. It's your boy, Jay Black, a.k.a. Black Man. I got another one for you. Wow. Shake my hand. Special guest today. And it's been... How long? How long? How long? Almost Beasley! Almost two years, man. Shake my hand. What's up, guys? How you doing? Going good, on? brother? Oh, man. I can't complain. How you, you feeling good? I'm always feeling good, Okay, man. okay. Bars over politics. <clears throat> 11-3, right before the election. Talk to me about the car. Oh, man. You know I got to do the icebreaker. You know, come on, I got to do the icebreaker. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Before I get him. <laughs> oh, man. This is about to be rough. Hey, hey, hey listen. Hey, listen. Nah, y'all, listen, man. Um, Y'all, I'm excited about the card. Mm -hmm. I think there's some dope battles on there. Yeah. Um, I think they're battles that people want to see. Yes. You know, I mean, the, the feedback has been great online. And I'm excited to deliver this uh, event to the people, so... You know, I think it's going to be dope, man. It's okay. some dope battles. I don't man. get you in trouble asking this, though, because, you know, I know how the battle rappers be. What is the is the main event Hollow versus JC or the fans? Right event? now, I mean, it's it's either that one or it's going to be um, Rum Nitty versus Real Sick. Those two are, like, two of the biggest battles that I think are on the card in terms yeah. of, like, uh, fan reaction yeah. and what's in actually in demand mm -hmm. but even the other battles on the card people like those battles as yeah. well so it's dope to get a card like from top to bottom that people really appreciate yeah and, and i think for uh kings versus queens we did miss hustle versus Gichigati. Gichigati. we complained i complained too you know what i'm saying a little mm -hmm. bit on champions lane though mm -hmm. but the battle turned out good because Gichi Gotti did what he did there wasn't nothing right. about the battle had a battle versus bankhead and kitchen a two-on-two, two. and he started liking that scary hoe. Just because he seen her cook clean, he thought she was wifey material. Oh. To tell y'all, the jig is up. <laughs> Just the other year, look at your friends. Just the other day, she was online like, I like to keep my shit off social media. That's the excuse you was giving us? Y'all mean to tell me this bitch the size of a power forward, but she got problems posting a nigga up? Oh. I was really in a field with that. It's two screws to make sure the barrel sits intact. The firing pin and the spring for recoil you when it's kicking back. Adjust the lever until you hit a trigger snap. Then you gotta load it. Make sure the clip attack. I told you I was wifey material. I just made a meal from scratch. I used to feel mobbing. My step was slide with text and nods. When a beef thawed out, this tin arise. Bow, rounds on his head, but they ain't memorized. We EFB, but I get the team homie, then I sever ties. Spin a block. Weapon rise, lift a clock, let it fly, stomach shot. Now he looking in a gotti like the FBI. Can you tell me? Right. But the battle we wanted in place of that before that was fines and hustle, and now it's here. Right. So salute. Yes. But I think Rum Nitty versus Real Sick, that's the one. Competitively, Sick has been on a tear for years now. He hasn't really lost a battle. And then Nitty's just the alien. He's a monster. Like, you, you, don't, you can't really stop him like that. What the rappers you think are one of them was? Think that I'm one of them ones. You got a bigger nine, a little nine. I got a medium that'll connect you to the other side. I'm pregnant. <laughs> People asking where everything healthy at? A vegetable stand. <laughs> Rum Nitty versus Real Sick. Right. So I think that's the one. If y'all got anything right, the card is good, but if you got anything right, Nitty versus Real Sick. Yes. So we're appreciative over that. But why the name bars over politics? Well, I know the answer to that. I think everybody will answer, I mean, but I'm going to ask him anyway. Black, it's an election year. That's what I'm saying. The election is Tuesday. Yeah. You know what I mean? The battle takes place on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the name fit. Okay. All right. And, and, and let's get straight. And it was just so a collaborative effort. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because um, one of the people who are involved. His, the name of his movement is Politics as Usual, mm -hmm. so it's just a kind of a collaborative effort between his movement and ours. Okay. Beasley, why did you book this a week before some, another event? Let's get straight into Yo, it. I, I've been hearing this, and it, and it sounds insane. I'm here to me. break it down if you... If you, you know what I'm saying? Insane. Like, it's the audacity <laughs> for someone to ask me that. It's crazy. We've been doing yeah. this for over a decade. Man. Yeah. We do the most events all year long all the time okay. right um nobody calls url and says hey uh we're going to do an event on this date yeah and and gives us any warning as to when they're going to do an event so i don't understand why mm -hmm. url is expected to like 
adhere to any guidelines in terms of when we do battles. You know, yeah. we're not doing a battle on anybody's date. Yeah. And we're not using the same talent pool. Yeah. So, you know, um, I just, it, you know, this whole thing that's been going on is just kind of crazy. Are we, we, listen, we can cut right? this shit. It's been straight. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. listen. We and and, and also, we, we, we're in a time, right? We're in a time where battles are taking place every single week. That's a fact. I, I mean, you got Battle Academy. You yeah. got... um. Who else has Black guys. Black I ice. said this oh, uh, continuously week after Cassidy week after versus week. John John. Cassidy versus John John. That, so man. this is turn the that. time that we're in. Yeah. You know, we're in a time where there's more leagues than ever. Mm -hmm. There are more events going on than ever. So you're going to see that. Yeah. You know, it's just part of the game. Okay. But the confusion for me and the fans, because we got the good brother Hitman Holler, Suta Hitman Holler. Uh, he made statements, obviously, and he felt like. I guess in this space, then he tweeted a couple of things. So I don't know if, again, he's trolling a little bit to, you know, add more uh, uh, energy to his card too, which should be smart. It's marketing stuff. Right. But the discrepancy between him and you. Right. Because y'all was in the space together. So it's right. like, there's no discrepancy here. Yeah. Like, what's, 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 there's what's, there's what's, no what's, discrepancy on my end. Yeah. I haven't heard from Holler since the announcement. Okay. Um, you know, I, of course I hear that, you know, he said a few things, you know what I'm saying? But. I feel like those things could have been said to me directly. Like mm. he could have called me just like he called me to get into his spaces with him yeah. and advocate for him. You know, and I was telling the truth. It wasn't, you know, when, when I did go in and speak on his behalf, I was just speaking facts. Yeah. But the fact that I don't do that, I don't go into people's spaces. I don't do yeah, he never very, been in my space easily. <laughs> I don't do many <laughs> interviews. You know what I mean? Yeah. He asked me to come, come and, you know, enjoy his space. And I did. I just felt, you know, if he felt that there was some type of an issue or discrepancy or there was some questions that he wanted to know, yeah. he could have simply picked up the phone and they've given me a call. Yeah. All right. Just just some of the tweets, you know what I'm saying, uh, that he put out there because I got to gotta follow up with this. He says, um, you know, behind the scenes group for the fans, the guy that funded the politics as usual, which is John John Van earlier in the year, which was a good event. Shout out to John John. He basically said that y'all picked up on that. Right. So y'all have the same person that's involved with John John's event to your event. What's the backstory on that? Yeah, like, I, I'm going to get into that. Talk I'm going to me. get into that. But, like, even before we get there, right, I just think, like, overall, I just think at this point, Holla has to exercise a high level of emotional intelligence. You can't just jump out here and just start going crazy. And, you know, I, I've, I've heard clips. Some of the stuff yeah. is sent to my phone, and then he's online, and he's gaslighting Geechee, and Hey, Geechee, that, you know, I, wouldn't do, I know they would do, I know they would come after me, but I don't think they'll go after you, <laughs> Geechee. You know what I'm saying? And I find it entertaining, actually. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh, the, the flip side of that is that sometimes fans hear these things and they believe them, you know? And I just feel like we're in an era where if you don't refute something, it becomes mm -hmm. the truth. And I'm just now learning that, you know? For years, I've always taken the high road when people say things regarding yeah. URL and myself. I don't respond to it because I don't like to engage because I don't think that that's my role within the culture. Yeah. But I'm fast learning that if I don't do that, the brand gets demonized. Um, I get attacked and people start to believe the things that people are saying. And they don't, they just kind of, certain people, not all, mm -hmm. are kind of just led like sheep. And they don't sit down to think or evaluate anything they just listen to what someone says so i just think that you know holla getting that upset that quickly mm -hmm. um he just has to make better decisions and just be a little bit more mindful you know yeah. what i'm saying so i wasn't angry with holla i don't have any anger towards him i still consider him a friend and you know there's no beef and no issue with him but i just definitely think that um he just has to get a little bit more um, have a little bit more emotional intelligence when dealing in situations and not just jump out immediately and lead with his ego because what happens is it's just like you do the things that he's doing right now and then it turns into these big groups inside these <laughs> platforms and then it you know the, the you, you know the, and spaces you yeah. see the microphone speaking and then the self victimization begins and mm -hmm. you know I didn't know that he was going to do that to me man and you know you get his associates and all these people coming together and it just becomes like a pity party yeah. you know what I'm saying and it's unnecessary it's not it's not anything that 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 
needs to speak. But um, I know I'm getting off track. What was the qu- what was the thing that you what was the truth basically? That you basically, I'm saying because uh, that the people are saying this too that that the mayor is involved. I think right. he said again he had an offer, but I I feel like the tweet in itself explains every situation because right. if the mayor is involved, right. I'm assuming and you can clear it up if you want to that it has to be done before the election. Right. So that's why it's being done. It's not really a uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, yeah, that's, step on toes or anything. That's that's the second phase to demonstrating emotional intelligence. Like, why are we discussing this? Why do the fans need a scoop about anything? Unless it's about the battles, why do we need to know this information? You can speak to your experience and what happened between you and the mayor or whatever offer or level of support was offered to you. Mm-hmm. But when you start mentioning John, John and Don's business and you start mentioning URL's business, you're out of line. It's classless, you know, and I, I just think that, you know, again, we have to be more mindful because we shouldn't be speaking on other men's business. You know what I mean? You don't know the ins, the ins and outs of what my offer was or what URL's level of support was or what John John's support was. That's for John John to speak to or for URL to speak to. But me, honestly, I don't think that the fans should have any knowledge of that. And I think that's one of the biggest problems that we're facing right now is because everybody wants to know the inner workings, what this person made, what the deal was. And we're getting away from focusing on the actual battles. Yeah. You know, this is reality TV now instead of battle rap. You and some of it can be his question about the accident. But a second, <laughs> <laughs> some of it, some of it is entertaining. Right. Yeah. But. Yeah. I think we get sidetracked with that. And then that becomes more important than the actual battles themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, overall, that's 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 my only gripe. I don't have any issue. I'm not mad. Mm -hmm. I'm not angry. I'm not beefing with Hitman. But, you know, you're asking me. So I'm telling you directly how I feel about the situation. And, you know, overall, you know, this thing, um, you need to tighten up, man. (laughs) Tighten up, man. Behave, man. You know better, Holla. Uh, while we're here, I mean, because I, cause I don't want to start the interview off and then double back at the end, so I'm gonna just put this up front. Uh, you know, we all love hit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. at the end of the day, it just gotta make sense. You feel what I'm saying? Um, if it makes sense, then you know we we could we could potentially, you know, what I mean, see, you know, um, that happening. I don't, I, I, I just, I think Beasley would be more so okay. in a better position to answer that question than I would. Yeah. Um. But like I said, man, like, you know, it just got to make sense, man. Okay. All right. Salute. Beasley, I'll be asking you that if you sit down and it's good secret, brother. I asked Smack and he said, you're better suited to answer this question. It was right. the Hitman Holler versus Murder Mook with Jerome McCoy being involved. Right. And that's when you were in the space with him. Correct. Like, so what, what happened there? What went wrong, wrong there? Nah, nah. We were trying to um, put some situations together and there were some investors and things that we were trying to get to make the battle happen. But, you know, people have to understand. What is URL? We're charged a different number than everybody else in the culture. You know what I mean? Because we have put so much out financially. Mm-hmm. There's an expectation financially from battlers of what they believe we should pay, not yeah. what the actual market value is for their talent or what others are paying. So, you know, when we were negotiating, it was definitely a tough negotiation. You know, you have Murder Mook, you got Hitman Holler. You know, two of the highest paid guys within the culture. So, you know, it, it took a little bit of time, but, you know, we weren't able to get things done at that time. Right. So, you know, and I and I, and I told Hal, I said, hey, listen, you know, if there's an opportunity for you to do the battle someplace else, don't wait for us. Do the battle. Don't miss any opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, I guess, you know, I, eventually that battle kind of went down. And then I know that um, they spoken about him and Geechee battling, you know, some time ago. And then I guess that whole thing came into fruition. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, they, they're doing a great job at promoting the event. You know what I mean? I think people are vested in that event. I think people are vested in this current URL event. Yeah, and yeah. I think it's all must-see TV. It's yeah, battles I'm, I'm that everybody both. wants to see. Yeah. I want to see all the battles. And, um, you know, I don't think they have anything to worry about. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. But, you know, just to clear the air again, I don't have an issue with Hitman Holler. BZ and Hitman cold. are good. You know Y'all gonna get on the phone at some point. It's still cool. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. get on the phone. And we're gonna run into each other. You know, man, yeah. come on, bees, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it, you know, it's nothing. But you know, I mean, I said what I said, and I stand on what I say. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I mean? I definitely think he needs to just tighten up in those areas and be a little bit more mindful because leading out with information about people's business online to fans, it's just, it's tasteless. Right, well, he's going to do a video on that. But I, I'm going to get into this too. Uh, since we're at this topic, right. um, when I was asking Smack when he did an interview with me, and I think the people grasped from him saying that he's not really interested in it because it's not going to make sense, it's not going to happen, whatever it is, right. is URL still looking to, to make major battles happen? Of course. Of, of the Hitman versus Murder Mook level? Yeah, of course. I mean, okay. we have Rum Diddy versus um, I thought Lux. I thought you know what I mean? That was yeah, a big yeah. battle. I mean, um, you know, there's a few big battles left, but these big battles arise at certain times, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can never determine what's going to be a big battle or not going to be a big battle. Yeah. It all depends on the energy that the MCs put into promoting the battle that, that, that makes it into a big battle. But of course, I mean, we've been doing this for over a decade, you know, so there's going to be battles. There's going to be big battles that go to other platforms. There's going to be big battles that are on the URL platform. So yeah. of course, we're always looking to do the best and the biggest battles that we can do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I caught him with this setup. You know what I mean? It was a lead into the big oh, battles, boy. into here this go. question. I got him right here. Speaking of big battles and, and, and the fact that the fans grasp onto, um, <clears throat> shout out to Tay Rock. He's on an amazing run, but there was an opposition that he said he wanted to face, and then he said he didn't want to face him. And that good brother's name, salute to this good brother, might have to. Tay Rock versus Easy to Block Captain. What's up with that? Hollow the Don. Versus JC. Now we make examples. URLs. Bars over politics.